Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because we're going to be kickstarting some fall content here on my channel. We're just going to be going through a lot of my decor. I'll be sharing with you some of my favorite pieces, decluttering out some things, and also making a list of some of the things that I want to purchase for this year. I am working on our bathroom renovation currently. I'm taking a break after this. I'm actually going to go and do another coat of paint in there. That video should be coming in probably a week or two, and I'm so excited for you guys to see that progress. But I wanted to take a break and look at all my fall things because fall is one of my favorite seasons and I love summer just as much as the next person. I'm a college student so I love summer but there's just something about fall that's just cozy and nostalgic and all of the fall decor just gives me the feels. And I wanted to do something fun in the comments as well. Let me know down below what some of your favorite things are to put out for the fall season. Is there a specific piece, a specific floral that you like to bring out every single year for fall? Maybe it's a hand-me-down, an antique you found, or something you found at Hobby Lobby. Whatever it is, I would love to know. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I just brought these bins up from downstairs and I have not looked inside of them. I'm sure there's probably some things in here that I do not remember. And that's kind of what's fun is like before you actually go out shopping, seeing what you already have because you can easily forget it's been a whole year since I've looked at any of this stuff. Ooh, I forgot I had these. See, this is what I'm talking about. So I have these like velvet sort of burnt orange pillow covers. They're like for my lumbar pillows. These are so cute. I actually made these, I'm gonna guess last year. These are beautiful, I love this. So I have two of those. Like I said, I made these. It's just like a very simple sort of Pinterest tutorial of an envelope pillow. So there's not any buttons or anything on this or a zipper. It sort of just has like a little pocket in the back. They're showing up a little bit more red on camera, but they're a little bit more of like a burnt orange earthy color. The fall decor just smells so good. I must have a candle or something in here because it smells so good. <gasps> Cute. Okay, I was gonna use this last year and I completely forgot about it. I think I had this in my room. Yeah, and I forgot to put it out somewhere. My great grandma actually painted this. Not sure, there's no date on it, but she was just a really, really talented painter. And if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I have a few of her paintings and I love them. And this one obviously has like the fall leaves and the red barn. I just think it's gonna be so cute. Oh, I love that. That makes me so happy. You guys, we are barely into this first box and I am, I'm thrilled. Oh, and before I forget, this pillow is also a fall pillow. I just sort of set it out for, you know, the fall feel, sort of making a cute background for this video. I purchased this pillow cover thinking that I was gonna get two. I read the description wrong, it's only one. So it's one pillow cover for $20, which isn't a terrible price. However, I just thought I was getting two because I feel like I've gotten a set of two on Amazon for the same price. Either way, this is from Amazon. Can you tell a color scheme so far? I love this rusty color and I've been wanting to incorporate florals and not just like actual florals because I have plenty of fall florals and well, I have a few I need to replace. However, I wanted to incorporate it in pattern and pattern is super popular right now and I personally really love it. I don't just have it because it's a trend, but it looks so pretty and I was gonna go ahead and order another one but trying to stay in a budget I think I'm gonna decorate first and if I think I need another one we definitely can do that but I now that I found these I don't think that I need another one I completely forgot that I had it but this is just gonna be really fun to mix in to some pillows somewhere okay this is really random this is where the decluttering comes in we don't really decorate for Halloween but when we were kids we made these really really cute like little spiders. We would hang them from the top of our closet. It's right over there. That's why I'm looking over there. And they were all like at different lengths. So they look like spiders or whatever. They're cute, but we, we don't decorate for Halloween. We're not a Halloween family. There are a couple things that I do hold on to for Halloween just because they're kind of nostalgic and fun. But I think... I think we can say goodbye to the little spiders this year. Also, I did like an amber glass trick on mason jars. There's just some random wheat in here that I'll probably just toss with this, but I don't really use this sort of thing anymore. Um, I like to incorporate amber glass in other places and other ways. So we're gonna set that aside. Ooh, we have this fall candle. It is Bath and Body Works. It's the scent flannel. It's actually a decent amount of it left. Ooh, that's what was smelling good in that box here. Smell. 
<laughs> my sister's off camera, she wanted to smell it. But I can never get rid of a fall candle. Oh, speaking of fall candles, I, we do have like a little drawer back there that has like our seasonal candles in them. We keep some of them in here, but I have this one from there that I got last year from Hobby Lobby. So this one is Heartland Harvest. It has notes of citrus zest, cinnamon, brown sugar, sweet vanilla, and maple syrup drizzle. And there's also a wooden wick in here. I love... Oh, the main thing I smell is vanilla, and then I love the crackle that it makes. It's so cute and cozy. Then it just has this little sort of wooden lid, and all of the words on there are just sort of gilded. I have a bunch of like miscellaneous wheat in here. I don't really use the wheat anymore, but I have a hard time getting rid of it, because what if I have an idea for it? So I'm going to just keep it. Oh, and like I said, we do have like a few like very nostalgic like Halloween decorations in here. So we have like this card that like when you open it, it like plays like spooky music. And then we have like a little witch statue, a little jack-o'-lantern, a little ghost, a little pumpkin head guy, like just some random stuff that we'll hold on to. Tori's got the cats in here right now, so say hi, Benny. <laughs> He's purring so loud. Um, Huevo is getting away. Get him out of there. And then just a couple more pieces in this bin. This one was only about half full. I have this little print that I painted. I don't really go for this style anymore. This is a little bit more modern, minimalistic. So I am going to say goodbye to that. And I could easily recreate it if I ever wanted to. Here's another little Halloween thing. We got this from like a yard sale or something. And we just have like a little corner in our kitchen that we always put that in. And then I do have a little pumpkin in here. Undecided if I'm going to use this or not. It was like from the dollar. Dollar Tree, I think, is where we got this from. Catch it! No. Catch it! No, 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 no. You gotta no. drop it on your head, then. All right. Don't catch it. Fine. Wow, pumpkin! <laughs> And lastly in this bin, if you guys remember, every single year I sort of switch out those nine frames. There's another row up there. And I love to switch out the prints for the different seasons. These are some of my favorite prints ever. I found them on an Etsy shop and they're just like, you know, the downloadable um, files that you can print anywhere. I usually print mine at Walgreens. So here's one. They're very landscape forward, really bring in that burgundy color. And there's just there's just a bunch of them. I love them and I love to mix and match them. This one's a little bit different, but they're all sort of along the same lines and I like to mix and match them in that gallery wall and it looks so pretty. I do have a bigger one somewhere. I think it has like a barn that I'll put in like a bigger gold frame that I have as well, but it's from literally the same shop. So these are super cute. Definitely holding on to these. So that is it for bin number one. That one was definitely not as full as the second one. Okay. Bin number two. Oh, this is fun. So first things first, I love fall florals. Like I said, I have that floral pillow and I just I love florals for pretty much any season. I picked these up from Hobby Lobby last year. First of all, this is huge. Like you get so much for your money and I don't really have anything in this sort of yellow marigold color. It is so, so pretty. So I love to incorporate these. Oh, I have these lanterns. I think these went downstairs. They're not in the greatest shape anymore, so I think I'm just gonna get rid of these. This is sort of when I was in my boho era. That era has passed. Ooh, this brings me up to a really fun thing that I wanna do this year. So the last couple of years, I've been sort of weird about putting pumpkins in my decor. Like I don't want it to look too cheesy, but I will put up a picture of some pumpkins that we got. I think it was two years ago, and I just sort of piled them up on our porch. And it was just this really fun, look and the only reason that i did it is because i didn't have anything to sort of display them on if that makes sense basically on this cabinet over here i want to sort of create that but with faux pumpkins so that is something i'm going to be looking for this year especially at like hobby lobby michael's just like different craft stores where i can get the sort of foam ones get a pumpkin or two this year get a pumpkin or two next year and just slowly build my collection so this is one of them because it is sort of this wicker material i might actually try to like put some of my like darker stain on it and just see what it does because like it has the fibers in it we could definitely make it a little less yellowy if that makes sense but i got this from hobby lobby to my knowledge they usually have something very similar to this every year i'm also going to hold on to these pumpkins i'm not sure if i'll use them like i said i kind of want to play with pumpkins this year 
I don't know. I hesitate getting rid of them because I also made these, but they're a cute color. They might work. Do you want this? Okay. Tori's gonna take this one. If you can't tell, like, signs in Farmhouse are really out for me. If you really like that stuff, like, Hobby Lobby has so much of it. Like, you can definitely do that style, but it's really just not my thing. Another thing that I've been trying to incorporate are, like, pine cones. You may think more like Christmas when you come, when you think of pine cones, but they really do give that, like, rustic, cozy fall feel, so I like to have these. And I also do use them for Christmas, so they have two different uses. <gasps> My Christmas acorns are in here. Those could work in fall though, couldn't they? I think oh, they could. Okay, so these are another thing. I love these. I'm actually glad I put them in my fall bin because if they were my Christmas bins, I probably would have thought of them. But they're these cute, like, stone acorns. I purchased these last year for Christmas. And I think it's the same thing with the pine cones. I think we could do something really, really cute with these. They're super heavy and I love the color of them. We have another one of those burlap pumpkins. We have a little white pumpkin. I actually decluttered a lot of these pumpkins last year that were just sort of in color schemes that I wasn't super fond of. I can link that video down below. <gasps> I see my favorite florals. I don't know why this is in here, because this isn't, this is very spring, but this is very not my style, so. Another Halloween thing. I didn't think we had this much. Well, I didn't think we had this much Halloween stuff. We really don't, but I keep on finding things that I forget about. It's just like a little bat lantern that we bring out for the week of Halloween. Okay, next up in this bin, we have Indian corn. I want, my uncle either bought this, grew this, something. He gave it to us. And it's really pretty. I like to put this in our kitchen, like above the cabinets, because our cabinets don't go all the way up to the ceiling, because our house is almost like 30 years old. But it really fills out that space well and really brings in those fall colors. This is so sad. I was so excited to pull this out. So one year we made a little haunted house. It's so cheesy, but it's so cute and like I remember like dry brushing this and like painting out all the spider webs and cutting out all the characters and like coloring them it must have gotten smushed I well I probably didn't pack it very well but I think yeah we can definitely put it back together it just says like happy Halloween and it has like little characters in it that's so fun anyway we're gonna keep that obviously and just have to fix it all right we have another painting from my great-grandma I think she maybe liked liked to paint these tiny ones or maybe that's just the ones that got passed down to us but this one is also sort of a fall theme this would be really fun to style in the bathroom once it's renovated so that'll be cute these are probably my favorite fall florals i only have well oh wait i technically have three because there's one over there that's sort of like fall summer kind of transition but i use it for fall i got these from target last year and if you guys remember the whole, whole debacle about this, I got a bunch of these from Hobby Lobby. I got like the dried out version that's like eucalyptus and it's this sort of beautiful rust red. However, my mom is allergic to eucalyptus and for some reason it didn't register that it was real so we had to return it and when I saw these come on Target last year, I was so excited to get them. These are Hearth in Hand and it looks like they're from... 2023 so they are still relatively new I'm not sure if they'll have them again this year but I love how big it is and how you can sort of like bend the branches and it does come tied together so you can really put it in any size vase but I love these florals we have two more candles oh I remember this so this is falling leaves by Sonoma has green apple caramel and vanilla Ooh, that one's like really mapley yeah, that one smells really good. I kind of forgot about that one. Then we have this one. This one is an oldie but a goodie. We've had this for so long. It is called Farm Apple Pumpkin by Better Homes and Gardens. There's really not much of it left. So I definitely don't need any fall candles this year. This one doesn't really have like a maple or sweet smell to it. I don't know what it smells like. It sort of smells like, yeah, maybe it smells a little bit like apple cider really warm almost like woody if that makes sense so those are all of the candles and then uh, lastly in this bin if you guys watched my fall tablescape last year this is what i used to sort of complement the white table tablecloth it's just like a 
runner that has some really simple fringe details and green stripes on it and stitching. It's really cute. I'm kind of wondering if I want to do another fall tablescape this year. You guys let me know in the comments below because that was really fun because our house, the way that it faces at nighttime, the sun comes right into our dining room. So it's just like a very like golden hour, very like cozy sort of video. So I'd love to make that again. And then another pine cone. And that's the bottom of my bins. So like I said, I need to look for some pumpkins and I wanted to get a couple more sets of fall florals. I'm guessing I'll get those from Hobby Lobby or some sort of craft store. I really want to keep things very minimal this year and especially being a college student on a budget, I don't want to be spending all my money on fall decor for just one season. So we're going to keep it very simplistic and use a lot of the things we already have. But with that being said, I do have a few different things that I want to share with you that I actually picked up recently or some things that I want to incorporate into my my fall decor. They're not all super fall specific, but I think they're going to add such a cozy touch to the decor this year. So if you guys have been keeping up on some of my other videos, you probably have already seen these. They are dried hydrangeas. I went to an antique store and she actually gave them to me for free. They're a little bit wonky right now. They do shed a little bit, but they are so pretty. I actually like to use these. I even use them throughout the summer, but I like to use them specifically for fall and I think it's gonna add that really nice dried earthy feel. It also brings in that yellow and just more of those tones. I also went to a different antique store that day and found this little scrap piece of fabric. So this is, you can see, like reversible. I really love this side, but this side is really pretty too. I just prefer this side. So when I saw this, I was wondering what I could do with it and there's a specific piece of decor I'm going to be adding to our bathroom that I'll actually be able to put this on without giving too much away. So it'll sort of look like a sort of towel and it'll just be a really fun accent. I just think it's so pretty and so cute and I think I got it for literally like a dollar. Another thing, if you watch that same video, is actually a makeover that I did of my media center. I decided that I like doilies again. We actually have quite a few. My, I believe my grandma or aunt or somebody made these. We have a bunch of them. I have another one over there and a lot of different sort of styles. They're all sort of the same color, either like an off-white or like a cream color but these are really fun to layer between books on top of books and layer candles on top i love to put them under my tapered candles and i feel like this just adds a very sort of cottage cozy very library feel which i have grown to love and uh, lastly is another thing that i found from an antique shop i have really been loving not going to sort of the mainstream sort of like decor stores like Hobby Lobby and Michaels. I love those places, don't get me wrong. When I take a day and I go to Hobby Lobby, it's like the best day ever, but I've really been liking sort of going to more antique stores, thrift stores, things like that, and just sort of buying a couple pieces that I really love at a time and just like things that I can use throughout the year. And I just feel like they're more special because like I remember where I got this, it was just like on a trip, we were on vacation. We ended up at an antique store and I believe she gave this jug to me for like 20% off of this. It used to be 12. It's so pretty. I love the size of it. She had a bunch of them. Having known that it, they were 20% off, I probably have gotten a bigger one, but it is so cute. Like imagine it with the eucalyptus in here. like. You're joking, that is that is so cute. So I feel like it's really gonna give that antique, very vintage, cozy vibe. And just to sort of round out this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the shopping that I plan on doing. I definitely plan on going to like Hobby Lobby, maybe Home Goods. I think I wanna go to Michael's, but that's really about it. Like I said, I'm trying to keep things very, very minimal this year, but I still want to make at least one or two shopping videos for you guys even if it's just to show you everything. And I also plan on sharing like different cozy recipes. I love to incorporate those into my fall videos. I love to bake and fall is the best time to bake in my opinion. Yeah, it's just gonna be such a fun year. Fall is definitely probably my favorite season. So I'm just really excited to bring you guys along and show you guys bunch of different ways to decorate. Also, like I said, the bathroom renovation is coming. I promise we are working on it so hard and it's coming together really, really well. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But thank you guys for joining me for today's video. I hope it was very relaxing and it's getting you in the mindset of fall, even if it is still summer, we still have some time. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for spending some time with me on my channel today and I will see you in my next one. Bye, you guys.